Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about progress bars from Angular Material. There are four types of progress bars, determinate, indeterminate, buffer, and query. A determinate progress bar is used to display the percentage of how much a task is completed. The indeterminate progress bar is used to show that something is running in the background, but it's not necessary to show how much is completed. The buffer progress bar is like the determinate progress bar, but there are two phrases. The buffer phrase that shows the amount of data that's retrieved, and the actual processing phrase where it shows how much of the process was completed. And lastly, we have the query progress bar to represent that something is being processed before the actual processing starts. To begin, add the material progress bar module to your project. Go to the app module file, add the import statement, and add it to the app. To add a progress bar, use the map progress bar element. Then set the mode attribute to either determinate, indeterminate, buffer, or query. To set the current progress for the determinate progress bar, set the value attribute to a value between 0 and 100. Instead of using a hard-coded value, we should use a variable or a function. For the buffer progress bar, we need to supply with two values. The buffer value, which indicates how much content was downloaded, and the value itself. For the buffer value, we also use the value between 0 and 100 to represent the percentage. We can also change the color of the progress bar by setting the color attribute to either primary, accent, or worn. These colors are determined by the theme you have chosen when you add angular material to your project. That's all for progress bars. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment in the comment section. See you in the next video.